All right, if I can play it, you can play it, and I'm going to teach you how. The first thing we need to know is that the song is in C sharp uh, tuning, right? So it's a drop C sharp tuning, and our E string is going to be C sharp. Our A string is going to be G sharp. And our D string is going to be C sharp. Our G string is going to be an F sharp. B string is an A sharp. And your high E string is a D sharp. And if you make the cowboy chord, as they call it, D chord, and you just drum the whole thing, you get a pretty good, nice D. Or actually, in this case, it's a C sharp. So, the first chord. Let's get into this. So the first chord is five and six on the G and B strings. And you hit, you strike all the strings except for the high E. And then you follow that by two chugs, right? So when I say chug, that means you've got your strings muted, palm muted, and you strike them twice. And then we're going to start counting, okay? So after you count these two, chug, chug, you're going to count four of these. One, two, three, four. Move up one to the second fret. Chug it three times. One, two, three. And then chug it one time at the third fret. Chug. And then chug it twice afterwards. And that's it. And, and also, that first chord, you can play it like this. Uh, you might get fussed at by some people on the internet. But if you care, then don't play it like that. But I, I don't care. And I think this sounds very dissonant. And so what I'm doing is I'm adding my middle finger to the fifth fret of the A string and my index finger to the fourth fret of the D string right here. And then I've got my ring finger on the fifth fret of the G string and my pinky finger here on the sixth fret of the B string. So I have the full chord right there like that. And I feel like that's very more, very more. <laughs> I feel like that's a bit more dissonant than... I don't know, but for me, I can grab this and I can shake this this chord better than I can with two fingers. So for me personally, I'm going to play it like this because I personally can play it better with a, I get a better grab on it. So, I mean, you can overdo it, too, so don't overdo it, but you need some bending in that first note just to make it even a little bit more mean, just slow, chug, chug, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, chug, 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 one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, chug, chug. That's the entire intro, and then that's also the part that they play underneath the uh, the guitar solo. Now, for the verses, they just play open like a standard D uh, shaped power or D standard D shaped acoustic chord without the high E. Just so you got your index finger on the G string on the second fret, and then your middle finger. I'm sorry, your your Ring finger is going to be on the third fret of the B string, just like that. These two strings. And you, you don't you don't strike this top string, just all of the rest of them. And 
and then you come up to one and you make that power chord there. It's these top two strings, really. Part is fast. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So hold three, four, five longer than one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Follow? Is that cool? Does that help the counting? Because I usually don't like to count, but the song it helps to count because it's in seven eighths timing. So th that part, that's the chorus, and you come up here to the eighth fret, and you bar it, and you come down to the seventh. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, da, da, da. Nine to eleven on the D string, and then nine again on the G string. So you slide, you hit, you strike the string once on the D string at nine. Slide it up to 11, and then fret it on the ninth fret of the G string, and help, go ahead and hit it. Then you come back to 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 9, 2, 3, 4. Then back down to your open D chord. probably finish it off with a G right here the G uh, power chord place this is two two strings maybe three if you want All right, now for the solo. There are a few phrases in the solo. The first one is... Uh, you can pull that up from the fifth fret, pull up to the set, sixth fret. Pull it up, like half a step. And then release it and come down to this third fret. Five, three, five on the A. And then you're going to come to uh, seven on the D string and slide it to the ninth and hit the seven again on the G. The first phrase is that first part. That's the first phrase. The second phrase is up here on the 12th fret of the G string. Or however he plays it. He plays it different every time. So you just mess around there. And then you come down here and finish it off on the eighth fret of the A string. So 12, 10, 12, 10, 12, 10, 8. Okay, on the A string. And you play with those notes. And then that's the second uh, phrase of the solo. All right, already almost halfway done there. Uh, and, then, and then you come up here to... Uh, 14th fret of the D string, 14th to 17 on the G string, 14D, 17G, 14D7, 
string twice on the seventh, seventeenth fret of the G string, and then come down to fifteen on the G string and fifteen, fourteen, fifteen, fourteen, fifteen, seventeen on the D and then A strings. And then you're gonna walk up from fifteen to seventeen on the E string. That one may be, yeah, 15, 17, 15, 17, uh, 14, 15, 14, 15, 17, 15. Yeah, 15, 17, 15, 17, 15, 17, 14, 15, 14, then 14, 15, then you're gonna, uh, you're gonna bend a half step. And come back down to the 15th fret on the G string. And bend up to the 15th, or bend up to the 17th fret. And it's hard to get it, you know, right on the, the uh, pitch, right? So you so your fingers have to sing <laughs> in tune because your guitar is in tune your your fingers are so they're taking control so they got to stay in tune too so uh that can be a little bit uh a tricky part to play and that's the last part of that phrase so And then uh, the last phrase starts on the 19th fret. So 19, and you're going to raise it up a full step. Come back down to 19, 17 on the B string. 19 bent to the 21st fret, basically. And back down then to 17. Uh, fifth, uh, 18 on the G string. So back down to 17 on the B string. Fifth, uh, 18 on the D string. Wow, this is hard. So 19, bend it up to the 7th. Bend it up, come back down. Uh, hit it again and then hit 17 and then go to 18 17 end it up to 19 and come back down and then you're going to go to uh, 19th on the E string and bend it up to the 21st and then walk it down 19, 17, 16, and then you're going to hit 19 again on the B string, Seventeen on the B string, 18 on the D string, 16 on the B string. Middle finger is on the 18th fret of the G string, and your index finger is on the 17th fret of the B string. Palm mute your strings. And that's how he finishes it. So he raises up on the 19th. 
19th out of the 17th, 18, 17, 18. And then after that, on the 12th fret, bending it all the way up on the G string. So how was it? Were you able to learn it? Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you weren't able to learn it just yet, it takes a little bit of time, but you it will click for you, I promise. Just keep on it. Keep watching the video. Follow along on the slow parts, and you should be able to uh, get it if you stay on it. Uh, I hope this was helpful. Uh, if you liked the video, I hope you'll consider subscribing and uh, clicking that like button and uh, clicking the bell so you'll know. Uh, when another video comes out. All right. Thanks so much. And uh, we'll see you next time. Take care and keep rocking.